Okay, in this video I want to go over with you how do you go about adding WordPress to your Dreamweaver site and then how do you go about setting up your Dreamweaver site and get these two programs, these two softwares working together. So here goes. First thing you want to do is you want to go to WordPress.org and you want to download WordPress whatever version it is. This is free open source software with lots of possibilities, plugins, themes, lots you can do with this software. So I've already downloaded mine. Mine is in my downloads folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on in. I'm going to uh, find it in my downloads. I come on in. This is my root. Yours may download wherever it may download. And I'm going to control click. I'm going to copy WordPress. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my HT Docs folder. Again, this is where in the previous video I placed my folder. Um, so I'm going to come on in and sometimes too I'll do a little search for it. I think that's easier sometimes, a little bit quicker. So I come on in, HT Docs. Here's my PC things folder. Now I actually already pasted it in, uh, but let's say I didn't. Let me, un let me delete this and I'll repaste it just to show you. So I need to paste this in. Control paste. Oops. Now I just did that wrong. Look, I just pasted it in my files. I want it to just be out in there. So there we have it. It is inside of my local folder in HT Docs, PC Links, and there it is. Whatever your folder is is named right here, but it has to be in the HT Docs. If you are working on a PC, uh, yours is located in your C drive, the HT Docs folder. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to install WordPress. So this is how I go about doing it. I come on in HTTP. All right, so HTTP uh, semicolon slash slash localhost. Um, I'm going to come into my folder, PC links. And now I need to find the root. I need to do the root to the install page for WordPress. So I need to write this the exact way that I'm doing it right now. WordPress, WordPress slash WP hyphen admin and I need to go to install oh, install.php again HTTP semicolon slash slash localhost slash PC links mine's PC links because that's the name of my folder whatever yours is named is what you will use WordPress slash WP uh, hyphen admin slash install php. I hit return. I get this next screen. It says there doesn't seem to be a config.php file. And that's okay. We need WordPress to create this. So we're going to hit create a configuration file. Then it's going to tell us what we need. It's saying we need these different things before we get started. We know that this is the case. So we're going to say let's go. And now we're going to give our database name. So I'm going to come on in. I'm going to give my database name. I'm going to give my username. I'll put in root for my username, root for my password, and I'm going to give the database host and the table prefix just, just this. Okay, so we're going to hit submit. All right, Sparky, you've made it through this part. Let's run the install. I'll get another screen. I'm going to give my site title. I'm going to give my username admin. I'll just keep it this way. And then another password. Okay, um, so put in your password, ever you want it to be. And then I'm going to put in my email. And I'm going to keep my privacy. You definitely probably want to write down what you did, what you used for your password. And I'm going to hit install WordPress. I'm going to update my password. That way it will remember. Uh, and I'm going to log in. And let's take a look. It remembers me. I'll keep that remembered. It's always good to be remembered. Um, and you can see that you can always come in and log in right here. I'm going to log in and now we have our dashboard. Our dashboard has all kinds of different things that we can uh, take a look at, um, which is great. And we look around here. What we're going to do in my next set series of videos is we're going to really take a look at how we go about 
uh, customizing and changing these, these different, different things. So now how do we get Dreamweaver working with WordPress? Let's take a look at that. And one more thing I want to take a look at so we can see here's our PC links right here. As we look at this, we can visit the site and here we have it. This is our default page. This is what our default um, looks like. And uh, we can, you know, spend quite a bit of time and change things around and make things look really wonderful. And that's what we'll do through the rest of this course. I can go back to um, my homepage. <laughs> Again, I can <clears throat> visit the site. I can work with and change themes. Um, and we'll spend quite a bit of time taking a look at this and even creating our own, even adding all different kinds of widgets. But now let's take a look at how do we go about getting Dreamweaver to work with uh, our WordPress. So what I want to do is I want to actually open up Dreamweaver. All right, so the first thing that I need to do here is set up the new site. So I come on in, I say site, <coughs> new site, and I need to give it a name. And I'm going to say, I'm going to just give this PC Links WordPress because I already have it set up um, with, I already have it set up and it will give me an error because it's it's uh, going to be, it, it might just get complicated. Actually, let me see. See, I already have it set up, but I want to just try if I come on in and I give it this name. Okay, because I already have it. So I'm going to put in PC Links WordPress for you. That probably won't be a problem. Now I need to click in and I need to find where it is um, with the, can't think, where it is the htdocs folder. So I'm going to come on in again, htdocs, there is htdocs. I'm going to click and this is my site. So I hit choose. Now, if you, this was, if you were just working in Dreamweaver, you would just really focus in on the site name and the local site folder. But we're going to go a little bit further. We need a little bit more info. We need to actually set up our server. So we come on into server and we're going to add our server and I'll give it a name, testing, and I need to say how I'm going to connect. I'm going to connect with a local network. I need to come and find my server folder. Again, my server folder, my server folder will, will be that folder inside of HDoc. So, and this is where my favorites are. So probably uh, would be great is if I could drag the HTDocs to favorites, right? That would be, that would be pretty fabulous actually. Um, because we're going to be using it a lot. So I'll hit choose and there we have it. Now I need to find the web URL. I need to type it in at HTTP. It's my local, local host slash. I need to do the root. This is pretty much what it is, is it's the directions there. So there we have it, local host piece seedlings. Now I need to also come into advanced. And what I need to um, do here is change the server model and I want it to be PHP MySQL. And the next thing that I want to do, I want to hit save. And I want to make sure this is my last change that I need to do. I want to um, test it locally. So I'm going to hit testing. Uh, it, it comes in default as remote, but we want to do testing. We hit save. We are updating the site cache. And here we have it. We can see WordPress. And I want to show you something with WordPress. And I want to make this a little bit bigger, how it appears uh, inside of our pages. Um, if I was to come on in, these are all my WordPress files. So let's say I open up the index. Hmm, this is PHP. And we can see that when we look in live view, live uh, design view, design view is totally blank. Um, so if we click and we look at live view, we can see that that's how we actually see what it is that we're working with is when we are in live view. Come on into split. Um, and again, uh, we see that we have a PHP is our page, very limited code. These are all of the comments within here. Um, and we'll continue to work with how we go about changing 
this around and um, I'll end there. What we've just done in this short video is we've added WordPress, we've created our site inside of Dreamweaver, and we are ready to get to work.